All right, guys, welcome to the vlog. This is episode two of Alchemize. We got here today, we got Wally, and we have Winston. All right, we're about to take these guys out and get our day started. All right, fellas, you ready? You ready, big man? On the bed. There you go. A buckle, right here, right here. Oh, yeah. Just doing the daily routine, aren't we, Bubba? All right, you ready to go outside? All right, Mr. Wally, you ready? Oh, you don't want yours? Okay. Come All on, right, Wally. he's got to go. Let's go, Bubba. All right, little fellers. Go ahead, go. Got their daily routine going here. Can't forget Miss Atticans here. Hey, Miss Addie. Our beautiful little kitten. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to check on the boys. All right, fellas, pretty sure we just got some gifts from Amazon. Let's check. <laughs> there they are. Christmas time, Christmas time. All right, going to the gym. Got the best truck in the whole wide world right here, guys. If you ever wonder about a good mid-sized truck, GMC Canyon is the way to go. In that case, go finish up pre workout. About to hit the gym. Let's see. First day officially on Alchemize. So I guess it's only right to hit chest. That's what we're doing. Hey guys, through this workout, I just want to do a commentary on my, as you see here, I'm doing a warm up on bench press. Um, uh, I was doing 135 on that. Uh, I soon uh, move into my working sets. Uh, I work my way up to 185 on a warm up just to get ready. Um, uh, if you want to uh, follow a good program, the one I prefer to go for is Mike Matthews, uh, Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. Or if you're more advanced, go Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. Um, uh, that's a great program as far as building muscle, building strength. Uh, it really gets the job done. As you see, uh, as you move through right here watching everything, uh, I moved through, uh, was doing 225 for my working sets as you see coming up here. Uh, it's just a good intense chest day workout. Uh, for my working sets, I did three sets of four to six. Uh, if you land in the six, uh, what I preferably say is move at least add five more pounds on the following week uh, just to keep improving and also shaping everything. Um, uh, next, after all this bench press, as you see, uh, I'll be going to uh, dumbbell incline press. Uh, good thing about uh, anything that you work with dumbbells is you work is you are working the uh, pectoral muscles uh, isometrically just by themselves. So if you have any weak spots, uh, the good note and a uh, good firm saying is uh, go to anything with dumbbells. Uh, it'll be able to point out your weaknesses, but you're also to improve upon them. 
Here I just did three sets of uh, 10. Uh, 8 to 10 is a good rep range to go for these. Uh, I prefer, I see uh, better growth during that. But just three sets of 10, I did uh, just 65 here just for a good chest workout afterwards. Uh, now we're moving on to the pec deck. Pec deck here, uh, as you might see, you might not be able to because I cover it up, but uh, there is no uh, there is no back bench on this. Uh, but I felt like I got a better work without the back bench. But on these, uh, just get a good range of motion on that, and then just move through uh, and work it out. I did three sets of twelve. Next here, uh, dips. Uh, dips are just good. Just do dips to work yourself, and then there you go. That's my workout. Alright guys, workout complete. Now on with the rest of our day. Where are we going, baby? Best Spot and Mars. Going to Best Spot first. Gotta get that equipment for our podcast. Then Chipotle. Oh yeah. Then uh gotta go to Chipotle, you know. Alchemize, gotta get that diet right. You can do it with Chipotle. Alright. How is it girl? Good. Good. That's what I got. Alright guys. I'll throw a calorie count right there up on the screen for what this is. This is pretty much the steak uh, burrito bowl that I got with some fajita veggies. All right, check back in and show you. I'm doing it right now. No, it said that was pretty yummy. Oh, it was pretty yummy. Go blue, baby. <clears throat> Question. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, how was that lunch for you? Ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. I'd have to agree. All right. Headed to Best Buy now. The king of all lunches. Mr. Chipotle. McDonald's Corporation, you do it right. About to go get us some setups for our podcast. We'll be back soon. We're here. Best Buy. What are we getting? A microphone. Microphone. Got to make that commentary. Got to make them podcasts. Got to make everything spark. Let's do it. That's the one. Got it going. Let's get this up tonight. Make that quality audio sound great. There you go. Fall on the floor. All right. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Watch out. They're pulling through. <laughs> So, here it. What would you call this, Megan? Myers. It is Myers. Yeah. There are a lot know, of people around here. You're the only here. person that thinks people call it Majors. What does your mom call it? Myers. No, she does not. <laughs> Ever since I told her about it, she calls it Myers. But what did she call it? Majors. She probably just read it wrong. No. Yeah. Here it does. Uh, we got it. Oh, here we got yeah, we definitely need a baby. All right, guys, we're back here. Uh, we're home now from uh, our little grocery haul, grocery shop for this cut. Uh, I guess I'm gonna start off now by just showing you guys the protein that I'm gonna eat. Uh, this is good for lunchtime. Dinner time is going to be a little different. Uh, but as far as lunch is considered, I like these uh, chicken creations that are made by Starkist. They got a lot of different flavors. The macros are pretty good on them. Like this buffalo chicken right here for one serving size for the pouch. Look, three and a half grams of fat. Only three grams of uh, carbohydrates. And we've also got 11 grams of protein. And I eat uh, two of these at a time. That way I can get a good amount of bro uh, protein. 
Uh, studies say for protein as far as activity going and as for men, on a good cut, they, they uh, recommend that you do about uh, one gram uh, protein per uh, lean body mass. So for me, uh, what I like to do, I like to stay, I like to go a little bit up and over, probably about 1.1 to 1.2. So I eat about, uh, say, uh, between 180 to 190 grams of uh, protein a day. Just that way I can preserve muscle mass while I'm on this cut. Uh, we got here, we've got this uh, Protein Plus uh, Penne uh, Barilla uh, Pasta. It's only got for, uh, it's got two ounce per serving, uh, but it's got one gram of fat, 39 grams of uh, carbs, uh, with uh, four grams dietary fiber. Uh, so that's good too. Uh, and also 10 grams of protein per serving. Uh, next, my favorite, my favorite that I have throughout the day uh, around lunchtime with these uh, chicken creations. I have this uh, light and fit Danon, uh, this Greek yogurt right here. Strawberry cheesecake is by far the best flavor in my opinion. Uh, I mean, look at these macros. You can't get any better. Uh, zero grams of fat, eight grams of, uh, uh, sorry, nine grams of carbs, and uh, 12 grams of protein for just one thing of these real good uh i know i like hot dogs uh, quite a bit as well uh but there's these uh smoked turkey white meat hot dogs from a ballpark i mean look at these zero grams of fat uh nine grams uh six grams of protein and only five grams of carbs for one franc and that's 45 calories per one of these so if you're looking to get a lot of uh protein as well as also get uh get a lot of uh value and just try to get a lot of volume in your food. 45 grams, I mean 45 uh, calories, that's pretty good. Uh, for also my sweet tooth, like in, at nighttime also, I have these uh, fiber one bars. Uh, get your daily fiber in, you know, uh, that way everything goes well. You know, you don't wanna have a little hiccup to where you might be having too much protein and not be able to get that right bowel movement, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but 70 calories for one of these brownies, so sweet, so good. It uh, cures my uh, cures, it cures my sweet tooth quite a bit, so I like those. As well throughout the day snacking, I have one of the biggest sweet tooths. So these cinnamon and brown sugar, uh, skinny pop popcorns, uh, these rice cakes right here. I mean, you've only got 20 cakes in a serving and only 120 calories. And those macros are pretty good for something sweet. Uh, it, it gets it done. It gets the job done for my sweet tooth, you know. Also, if you go to Myers or anywhere that has Purple Cow, this stuff is great. This light churn style moose tracks. I love moose tracks. I love chocolate. So, I mean, 200 calories per two-thirds cups. Uh, macros are pretty solid. If you have something any extra throughout the day and you're like, man, I've really got to get something sweet, this will do it for you. This will do it real fine. Also, something new that we picked up that we saw. Uh, they're new from Tyson. There's these uh, air fried, besides, you know, peanut oil fried, adding fat to it. There's these air fried uh, chicken fillets. So good, too, when you look at the macros. 180 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein for one of these fillets. Those are solid. And also, if you like stuff fried, I know I do. I'm one of those people that love that. This is great for you because, I mean, macros are good. You still get that fried taste to it. And, I mean, 75% less fat, great option. We got a new air fryer coming too just because wife over here likes new kitchen appliances to try to use. So we've got one of those coming. Uh, if you don't have an air fryer, though, stick it in the oven, cook it in the oven. It's fine. But air fryers are great. I definitely do recommend those. Yeah, right now at Best Buy is where we got it, right? We have an Oster. Ost, uh, Oster. Oster is what we've got. It's uh, it's coming. It's a toaster oven slash air fryer. And you can toast bagels in it, do whatever you want with bread also. But uh, yeah, uh, moving on though. I got these uh, Powerade drinks. I love zero calorie drinks. My favorite though is carbonation uh, through anything. But you know... Powerade get the job done as far as getting your water intake and everything. Uh, I just got this uh, soda stream that I'm going to try out here in a few. Uh, I'll let you guys know how it is. I personally like carbonated water. I know a lot of people don't because they think it's got a bitter taste to it. But uh, I'm so addicted to that carbonation that I just have to have it. Anyways, a day worth vlogging here. What's up, Walls? How you doing, Bubba? You good boy. Yeah, you good boy. All right, well... 
that's that. That's the second episode vlogged of uh, Alchemize. Uh, be back for episode three. Other than that, we're out.